Okay, so we dried our fleece, and this is what we have after we dried it. And this is a different color. This is something I already washed. So after you wash your fleece, it's kind of matted down because you got it wet and you let it dry, and it's matted down. That's just the way it turns out. It's not felted, it's just matted. So before you card your fleece, uh, you want to make sure and open up, open up the fibers. Um, you want to get out the, you know, just the parts that are really matted down. So you can either do it by hand before you card the fleece, or you can pick it out. And this is one picker, one style of picker that you can use. And I got this off eBay. It was like 150 bucks or something. But it's you know pretty compact and kind of simple. But there are some things I don't like about it. But we'll kind of talk about that in a minute. So this is the top, and these are the the nails. There's, these things are like torture chambers, so you really have to be careful. They sharpen these suckers, and these things are sharp. I've already gotten like two small puncture wounds from this. Um, so you have to kind of respect it. You have to know that it's dangerous. <laughs> you can't let your kids or animals play with this thing. So this is the top. And then inside, you have more nails, and they kind of all go in different directions to really open up those fibers, make it nice and fluffy, and get it ready for carding. Um, this particular one has an in and an out stamp in the box. It's kind of, you know, uh, picking for dummies, I guess. And the top, there's a little hinge, and that goes towards the out um, side. All right, so we set that in here, and I take some of my fiber, and you really don't want to take too much, you know, kind of maybe just a handful. Stick it in the inside and the inside there, and you want to just go back and forth. And as the fiber passes through the nails, it just opens up the fiber, you know, makes it nice and fluffy. Now some fiber can be really matted and you're going to have to do it twice. And that, you know, that's just kind of the the way it is with these things. You just want to put it through again. You want to make it as nice and fluffy as you can if you want a really nice smooth bat. If you don't want a nice smooth bat, if you want to kind of make a chunky bat, you may not even do this process. Um, but I want a nice smooth bat for this particular fleece, so I am going to um, pick it. All right, so I'm just going to stick it in the bag there. Sometimes, especially during the winter months when the heat is on, um, this fiber, fiber becomes really staticky. So what you can do is just take a dryer sheet, and sometimes I'll just wipe my hands with it, and then it won't stick to my hands, and then it makes them really nice. Okay. So here we go. I'm going to put it through again. And when you stick your hand in here, be really careful. Really watch and see where those pins are because that's where I've gotten my injuries from. Okay, again. It's kind of like popcorn. You know, you put a little piece in and you come out with a, a fluff ball that's ten times bigger back in the basket. Okay, we'll do another pass through. Another piece. Let's we'll see how, how it works. Now this is kind of just a, one of those repetitious things. Um, I don't know if you're... If you kind of like those repetitious things, you can, I think if I daydream about inventing another kind of picker, <laughs> um, I don't know, inventing something, uh, your favorite TV show, or what you're going to wear to the prom, or I don't know, anything. So it's kind of nice, kind of mindless, and just let your mind wander, but don't let your mind wander too far because you don't want to injure yourself. Kind of an awkward position I'm sitting in. You know, I'd probably sit with it more this way so I don't have to stretch out and get, because you may get like a shoulder injury, an overused shoulder injury if you do this like for too long. But anyway, it's just kind of show you how it is. All right, so the next thing is I want to show you how I clean it. Um, you take the top, there's a gap in the middle, and I'll just pull out what's there. And I try not to touch those, those nails because I just don't want to get hurt. And you know, you can. So you take a toilet bowl brush and you just wipe the way the nails are going. And this, the toilet brush just picks up every bit of fiber. It's amazing. What's even more amazing, let me pull this out, is how much garbage is still in this fleece even after you wash it. But you know, but you still have a lot of um, pieces of hay that just don't come out when you wash it. And it's just still there. So as you pick it, you'll see pieces of dirt in the bottom of the picker. You know, that's kind of normal. So you just um, go outside and dump it upside down and, you know, just clean it out. 
Um, one thing I don't like about this picker is that I have to reach inside this box to pull out the fleece. I, I don't like that. I don't like putting my hands at risk of injury. There is another picker on the market, and it's also on eBay. Um, it has an open back, and the fleece just falls out um, onto the floor or into a basket. Um, Patrick Green also has a picker, but it's like a big tower, and the thing just swings, and it has these sharp nails on it. It just looks really scary. So, you know, for the price, I guess it's all right. Um, you know, if you want to save some money, you know, just pick your fleece by hand, um, and you can card it that way. But, okay, so that's how to pick your fleece and get it ready for carding.